Welcome back one and all. Let's continue on our journey. So what do you have to say, Sid? No. Okay, so I guess this is Celeste's adopted father or whatever, foster father. Oh god, he's back. I could kind of tell by the laugh. Yeah, everyone can tell by the laugh. What did you just shove us into? Oh, awesome. We're in a minecart. So much like the Serpent Trench, we're getting treated to a first-person view where we can't really control anything. Um, take enemies out. Uh, lightning works pretty well on most of the enemies here. It's weird, he's got like wheels on his hands. So we can't really control anything. Um, I don't think there's any splits in the path that you can choose from. Here's yet another allusion to, like, Star Wars. I remember this being in uh, Super Return of the Jedi. They used a similar effect with frames coming towards you. I think I screwed that blitz up. Haha, <laughs> I drilled you. I should probably should be using Chainsaw. Chainsaw's always good on uh, standard enemies. Because it's more than likely going to kill them. Very few enemies are, uh... Oops. Very few enemies are resistant to death in this game. Also, keep in mind, make sure you're all healed up, uh, as well as uh, you have all, all the espers you want equipped, because you won't be able to change them for a while. You're pretty much locked in like this. 77 points, one, learn bolt. I have Bismarck right now on Sabin. Just because it has a plus two strength. So that should get his strength up even more. Because chances are he might level up during the next few scenes. You're not going to be allowed to change espers for a little while. Of course, sometimes you also get lucky and you don't get into any battles. Now I know there's another enemy down here somewhere, but I... Ooh, bolt edge. Because it's lightning. Yeah, the weapon you get from number 24 is indeed a blood sword, however, it is extremely rare. Uh, you can steal a rune edge from him, but it's not any better. I tried a lot of time. I tried stealing a whole bunch, but it just didn't work. Bismarck also has life too. Yay! So you might get lucky and you just might not get attacked at all, and then other times you can get attacked like every two seconds. Let's see, uh, magic. Let's put on Carbuncle. For no other reason that we can. Ruby power! Carbuncle will cast Reflect on your entire party. That does come in handy sometimes. And he's dead. And keep in mind, just to reiterate once again, you can only use summons once per battle. Though, most of the time you probably won't need to use a summon during standard battles. But here we have the boss fight with number 128, which is half of a character. Well, actually it's the same size as a character in programming. Uh, let's use Bismarck to show him off, and... Use Unicorn. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, he will usually start off the fight with... Sea Song. You usually start off the fight by casting Slow on a character. Um, both his arms are independent. Uh, and they will... One will cast Powerful Magics. The other will... The other will cause Reaper something, it is basically drain. It drains... It basically just drains your HP and steals it for his own. Now you want to try to focus on the... You want to try to focus on the body as it will cast Haste on itself. Eventually it will regenerate its body, obviously. Um, yeah, Red Feast, that's the one that, uh, 
the left arm causes or the right arm, right arm. So yeah, just focus on, just focus on the body. Uh, yeah, it will haste itself up if you take out both the arms. I believe you can still slow it down though again. Tools, he should go down easily. Just obviously is blitzes and tools and Shino, um, Bushido. Or slow will work on him. So the enemies aren't as susceptible to slow as they were in other games. So this is the game where I find status effects stop becoming extremely useful, but it's not like it matters. We killed them anyways. Oh, and the unicorn uh, pretty much caused. Uh, Remedy on everybody. So if your whole party is affected, uh, five magic points a tent. If your whole party is affected with status ailments, use unicorn. It will heal you right up. Oh my god! Boom! Take that, mother. Save point up here. Always good to save. Highly recommended that you save. Uh, highly recommended that you heal up as well, because that's not a good thing. I think you can still get attacked out here on the, uh, the outside here. Yes, yes you can. Kill it, kill it fast. Kill it faster than you killed anything in your life. If you've killed stuff in your life. Uh, it will summon Pipsqueaks, I believe. Pipsqueaks have a chance of exploding in your face too. Then there's these things. Trapper, they randomly show up after battles. Um, Orbolt should work on them. They're weak to Thunder, I believe. Um, they have a chance of exploding in your face as well, as well as doing this. That will instantly kill anybody who is at level 5 in your party. So if you have a whole party at level 5, it will kill you all and end the game just like that. That's why they are annoying. And they can show up at any time in the factory area after a battle. Alright. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, my dune. Oops. Oh well. Let's get going. Try to show off some of those. Up hey, hey, Setzer, what are you doing? I thought you were back with the ship. Well, she kind of betrayed us. So we're going to escape uh, escape from Vector. Crud. thought he said something else there, but whatever. So Kefka is going to be uh, his usual self. And set a trap for us as we escape. And that does not look friendly. Okay. Something horrible this way comes. And it blocks out the sunlight. And we are fighting Crane and Crane. Alright, first thing you should know, do not use magic spells. Don't bother using any magic spells. Not that we've been using any in the last couple of fights anyways. Do not use Aura Shot Saw. Aura Bolt. Damn it. Setzer's special ability is a slot machine, which can randomly call forth. Um... If you get nothing, it will call Legromorph, which is like a Mycidian Rabbit or something. It will heal you up slightly, I guess. It's not most useful, but it works. Ow. And this is what he does. He goes all apeshit on your ass. So what you have to do with Edgar, uh, Setzer's slots is trying to line them up, and if you get good stuff, if you get them all lined up, you'll get a special powers. 
Uh, one of them's weak. One of the cranes is weak to thunder. One of them absorb. Or sorry, they both absorb thunder. One of them absorbs fire, so don't bother. When you kill one, the other one will cause magic barrier, which will resist magic attacks. But since we're not using any, it doesn't matter. Uh, the only ones I've seen for Setzer's slot is the dual one, which causes flash, which is like a bunch of lines shoot up, causing uh, decent damage. Uh, the airship, which basically an airship just comes in and ow, blows the whole thing to hell. Damn it. And the chocobo, where chocobos simply just run in and... Oh god, don't. I forgot they did that too. Alright, wake them up, get healed up. They become very devastating if you don't deal with them quickly, as you can see. Like I said, just don't use magic. Spam your special abilities as much as possible. If I could have got Setzer's... Oh, well, I killed them anyways. If I could have got Setzer's... Ooh. Uh, slot ability to work, then this fight would have been over quickly. So yeah, just spam slot and all your special abilities as much as possible and you'll take them down quickly. Don't use magic. Alright. Let's go check on her. Huh. So Setzer, does that mean you're going to join us in our fight? Who the hell is driving? What the hell? Was Sesser just like, okay, go ahead, Locke, you've never driven before, but I'll let you drive again. Just starts spinning around. By the way, there's two chests on either side of the uh, wall there, I forgot. I never even knew those were there. I think one's an X-Potion and one's running shoes. Ooh, what's going on? Just doing that eerie glowy thing again. Father? Wait, what? Oh, sweet. She no longer has amnesia. I thought I remember seeing this before. This place looks a little familiar. Who, oh, awesome. I'm in control of some weird guy with spike horns coming out of his face. What's going on? Alright, well, let's go check it out. Ooh, what's this? Uh, okay, I'll return together. What the hell is going on? Okay. Human. Huh. So this must be, uh... Okay, incompatible. What the hell does that mean? This must be the Esper world. Okay, I'll let her rest. How's she doing? Yeah, we're, I guess we're in the land of the espers, and... Yeah, a little bit. Um... I don't really think so. I don't know. Most of the espers I see don't have personalities, but maybe they aren't so different? Oh, what are you doing? That's the elder down there. He's like, oh crap. Oh, hey, elder. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Everything went back to normal. Now then, just going through here. Oh, 
Aw, oh, come on, who says that? Yeah, come on, we can try it for ourselves. Dun, 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 dun. They just made love. And a little baby was born. But we'll find out who this little baby is in the next episode. Bye now.